Morning, everybody. Vinny from Suds in the Squared Circle. Um, it's at, yes, it's morning. I didn't record an update last night because by the time I got back to my hotel, I was um, exhausted, falling asleep, tired. Probably didn't get back to my hotel room until about 2 o'clock. Traffic was a nightmare. Um, but you know what? It's the experience. Yes, I'm afraid of heights. Um, I, showed, I, I uh, posted a picture of my seat. Second, second row, second tier, um, upper deck, first row, you know, where you could actually see how high you are, uh, how far the ring, I mean, it was good. Wrestling is, in my opinion, it's, it's good that I've made it to a WrestleMania. The experience is fantastic. And for those of the people, for those of you who go to multiple manias, more power to you. I think if I do go to another mania in my lifetime, I will be making sure to spend like thousands of dollars on the floor seats um but also wrestling is something that i really enjoy watching on tv because you get the commentary you get the storytelling aspect of it um i think that's one of the reasons why i don't follow too much indie wrestling and it all kind of connected to me don't get me wrong you know when you know the stories like with going to like a smackdown or a raw or a, even a house show or whatever, a live event, you tend to enjoy it more because you know the characters, you know the stories, you know what's going on. With the indie, there's no story. Indies, there's no stories unless you're going to every single indie event or following them online or whatever. Which uh, you know, a lot of a lot of indies have TV on, like Fight TV or Triller now, or um, many uh, i pay per view, YouTube, whatever. Um, so there, there's always that option. I don't get into a lot of indies, but with WrestleMania, I got to say, it's more enjoyable to watch it on TV because of the commentary. You get the storytelling behind it, especially from somebody who is from guys as talented as Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and Pat McAfee. Now, if it was Jim Ross, of course, Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler, or Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan, or whatever, um, you get the storytelling aspect of it. It's not just, you know, yeah, the moves are fantastic, but I'm not a high spots guy. Yeah, they're awesome, but I like the storytelling. So, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience for me. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be a Paul Heyman guy. And yes, he is now my advocate. The wise man for the reigning, defending, undisputed, sin fitness, heavyweight, kickboxing, fight night champion, <laughs> but no, seriously. Um, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience for me. And I, I did leave my grandmother's um, prayer card there because, you know, I, it felt good to bring her and get her to a WrestleMania. No, I didn't sprinkle ashes. Um, she wasn't cremated. Um, but and, and I'm also not that morbid, especially when other people are around. Um, but she made it to a mania, and that made me feel good. Um I'm about, it's, uh, right now it's 8.30, I'm gonna go down and have breakfast, and, um, I go down and have breakfast, and then go to church at 10, and then WrestleMania Night 2 tonight, um, I'll be back at the link, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, I, I will say that being somebody terrified of heights, it was a little, it was a little mind-screwing, um, during Jey Uso's entrance, I literally felt like the upper deck was shaking. And it might have, I mean, you know, when fans are rowdy and, you know, I'm sure it happens in football stadiums all the time. But when you're white knuckled already because of being that high and in the front row, um, it really screws with your mind. I also had a minor panic attack because I didn't find the escalator going down. Um, at first, when I was leaving, I took the ramps. That I finally found the ramps that went down, and those were fine. Um, but yeah, it's the pros definitely outweighed the cons. But the cons were very, very the not. I don't want to say cons, but um, the fear of heights and panic of thinking I'm stuck up on the second deck which is so illogical and irrational um, and I know it but um, yeah anyways 
It was night, that was night three. It was WrestleMania night one. NXT stand and deliver was great. I did leave early um, because I had the um, tailgate party at Citizens Bank Park for on to, on location via uh, priority pass. Um, so that was fun. Um, I'm, I met the two guys that were dressed like Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage. I posted that picture as well on my socials. Um, yeah, um, but overall, it was a great day. A long day, um, but it's a, it's an experience. And I would definitely go to a WrestleMania City again. I don't know. Like I said, unless I'm dropping thousands and thousands of dollars on floor seats for Mania to be up close, um, I don't know if I'd necessarily do it again. Um, but I would definitely go to the city of Mania and find, like, a local watch party. Like, even at Xfinity Live, I think, but also, like, a couple of the bars, they were having watch parties. You know, one of them close by had Rob Van Dam and C.J. Perry and, and uh, I don't know, someone else. Um, one of them was doing it with Ric Flair. Um, so there, there are watch parties all around with WWE Legends. Busted Open is doing something today um, at the uh, at, at Xfinity. Or no, I'm sorry, at Lincoln Financial. So, you know, yeah, I would, I'm going to be a, hopefully get to meet like Tommy Dreamer and Bully Ray. Um, I call Bubba Ray Dudley because I'm a WWE fan. But this is long, six and a half minutes. Um, but I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Enjoy WrestleMania Night 2 tonight and then Monday Night Raw tomorrow. Um, but... Have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your Sunday.